So neza tuambia who is Alvin Marube? Marube ni nani? <laughs> hey, Alvin Marube ni asan asan to Henry Marube. Mhm. Eh na ste uh, niko na mom na dad wote wako alive na niko na sis. Mhm. Eh so Alvin Malu Alvin Marube ame amesomea high school Ethiopia. Mhm. Eh uh, ame stay Nairobi life kama alizaliwa Nairobi ameishi Nairobi life yake yote. Mm-hmm. Primary school amesomea Nairobi, high school ndio alienda Kisii. Mm-hmm. Uh, shule shule inaitwa Ethiopia High School. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for, from from one to from four high school yote hivyo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So unaweza tuambia jani yako in sport ilianza ilianza aje. <laughs> eh me, me I think all, all my year, all my years nimekuwa nikicheza sports. Nilikuwa nacheza futani kwa young age. Mhm. Ah uh, nilikuwa nacheza actually football nilicheza hadi nikiwa form 3. Mhm. Eh. Yeah. Mhm. Juu hiyo time ilipata all through kitu tunajua ni football. Mimi mm-hmm. sikuwa najua rugby ni nini. Mhm. Actually sikuwa nimeona hata place wase wanacheza rugby. Mm. But vile niliingia high school ndio unajua high school kila msia kiingia high school wanakongana like ah mimi mimi sportsman wacha nicheze football ndio juu nimekuwa nikicheza. Mhm. Eh, so mimi nikiingia high school ndio nikaangalia like eh kuna different game okay. Mm-hmm. So wase waki wase waki train football actually day tuliingia high school hivi Mm-hmm. ilikuwa 2010. Mm. Kuingia school hivi niko na wasio wanacheza rugby na mimi nilikuwa nacheza futa. Niko na wasio wamejafu kwa football sana. Mm. Ah nikasema pia mimi hata nijaribu, hata ndajaribu hii sport hii nyingine yenye sijui. Mm-hmm. But mimi nakuanga na kuanga msio kushika shika vitu haraka so with time nilikuwa within like few months za first term nilikuwa nishajua kucheza rugby. Like niko na hizo basics to pass kujua boli nenda nyuma and everything. Yule kwa nini gani? Nilikuwa seko gani hiyo? Yule seko. Mm. Yule ilikuwa seko iko kisi na uh, inaitwa Ethiopia. Okay. Yeah. So hiyo nini? Okay, tuseme tuseme your first nini experience ilikuwa in the class or how did you you know? Oh, my first uh, my, my first yeah. experience ya rugby. Mm. <laughs> ilikuwa so funny because after tulianza ku train trainer kujua jua rugby mm-hmm. I was the only form one mwenye nilikuwa na boots mm-hmm. na kam ku train na boots mm-hmm. boots <laughs> boots za kuomba kwanza zilikuwa ilikuwa ya besti yangu fulani anaitwa Ian Okari uh-huh. so yeye anacheza futa bado anacheza futa mimi nimeenda nimechukua boots zake na kam nazo training na train mm-hmm. So waki choose code ya kwenda waki choose code ya kwenda games hizo ma first time games za rugby mimi wali ni wali ni I was the only for one who was chosen because nilikuwa nimevaa viatu nilikuwa na boots mm-hmm. so hapo ndio nikaenda okay nilienda kama water boy mm-hmm. msee wa kubebea bebea wasema ma bags ni nini cuz mimi ni form one hapo mm-hmm. sasa ndio niliona wasee wakicheza rugby like tournament za rugby for the first time ilikuwa in Kisi High School as ilikuwa provincial games mm-hmm. the 2010 sevens mm-hmm. yeah hiyo ndio ilikuwa my first time kuona wase wakicheza rugby wase waki tournament za rugby actually but siku have kucheza mm. so tukiendelea ku train train hapo tukiendelea ku train train wase wana hey, una get exposure poa unacheza poa So my fa- my first game ilikuwa 2011 nikiwa ah, 20, 2012 nikiwa form 3. Mhm. Cuz hiyo form 1 uh, vile tulicheza cheza so wase interclasses mimi nilicheza football. Actually mm-hmm. shule nilikuwa nacheza nilikuwa nacheza futa. 
hiyo form 1 yote form 2 yote nilicheza football hizo mako pa coca cola and stuffs mm-hmm. alafu vile kopa coca cola ziliisha mm-hmm. ikakuwa like kwa rugby mimi ndio msepia mwenye na na get vitu haraka haraka na cheza poa mm-hmm. games games captain wa captain wa game akaniambia hey alvin this time anze itabidi ume, umecheza tutakuweka hapo ucheze mm-hmm. nikaingia nikiwa form 3 nikaingia na nikacheza poa Ivo tena sasa hapo ndio jani yangu ya rugby ilianza. Mm. But sasa ili pata na incorporate rugby na football. Uh, into, into both, both skill sets in incorporate into rugby. Yeah 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 nilikuwa na incorporate zote mbili. Mm. Na yeah. uh, high school any success yote ulikuwa nayo during your high school years up. Eh eh niko eh niko na niko na kadhaa hivi. Mm-hmm. So when I was in form 4 that was 2013 mm-hmm. uh, nilikuwa captain nilikuwa captain wa rugby shule mm-hmm. uh, that time uh, tuli tulienda for the first time tulienda kucheza uh, for the second time tulienda kucheza provincial games zilikuwa zilikuwa sawago uh, nini agorosari mhm hiyo ni oyugis mm-hmm. Uh, tulifika hapo after kuwa champions wa county for the first time counties mm-hmm. na after kushinda regionals hizo uh, ma zonals za around your place tuli, shule tulikuwa mm-hmm. yeah, so tulishinda hapo tukakuwa ma champions wa hizo zonals tukakuwa ma champions wa counties tukaenda kucheza ma provincial games so one thing yenye ni fresh sana ni for the first time itiri kapiga maseno mm-hmm. tulikuwa group stage mm-hmm. tumepata na maseno hapo maguys wame maguys wa koroju mbaya mm-hmm. tulikuwa high school tulikuwa na kina amosobai anachezea na kuru mm-hmm. uh, another one mwenye your time alikuwa anacheza na anacheza saizi i think kulikuwa na Tyson Asiago pia mm-hmm. kulikuwa na maboys kadhaa but wengine waliacha rugby Okay. Eh, so you time eh tulicheza na Maseno ilikuwa group stage. I I was the first uh, I was the last one to score kwa hiyo game. Mm-hmm. So the game ilisha 17 uh, 17-14 for the first time Ethiopia high school ikapiga Maseno. Hiyo ilikuwa tulikuwa so proud of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah yeah hiyo ndio I think ni high school ilikuwa achievement yenye naweza kumbuka yenye bado ina kuanga hapa. Mm-hmm. Yeah kuna za za transfer za za jani hapo after high school ni transfer now to which club ama what of the the jani what of the next step okay nikimaliza high school nilimaliza high school ikiwa na injury actually hizo same same uh, provincial games nilipata injury ya ya mguu so ikakuwa ni from hapo school cheza football kucheza hizo provincial za games za football so ilibidi ni heal nikiwa shule so hata nikimaliza high school nilikuwa bado na crutches mm-hmm. so 2014 uh, nika more like ah, wacha nijaribu nitafute place yenye cause mimi nacheza rugby acha nijaribu kutafuta place yenye naweza cheza rugby at least kuona kama nime recover niendelee ku train pia so january 2014 nilienda impala Ah uh, nilienda Impala mimi hapo nimetoka high school high school yetu ilikuwa huko Ushago ukiambia mtu namba 12 ati namba namba 1 namba 2 namba 3 namba 4 hiyo mm. ni ya football sisi hatuko tunajua hizo so sisi tulikuwa tunajua winger center scrum flyer like hizo roles tu mm. but positions hatuko tunajua vitu kama hizo actually okay mimi mimi sikuwa najua hizo stuff mm-hmm. so nilienda ku train nili train at Impala for the first time Sikurudi tena Impala. Mm. Training yako ilikuwa moto. Nika nikasema, "Ai, kama ni hivi haiwezi." Mm. Wacha wacha nitoke hapo niende mtaani mwanze. Nikarudi mtaani. I think 2014 yote si kucheza rugby. Nili enter into acting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so tulikuwa yeah. tunafanya ma uh, acting acting. So you are also a part-time actor. 
<laughs> I can't say I'm, all, I'm also a part, uh, I can't say mimi ni part time actor mm-hmm. but ni ni something nilijaribu ku create hiyo period yenye niliacha kucheza rugby 2014 mm-hmm. eh, like ah training ilikuwa ngumu nikasema ah mimi hapa na hii siwezani so nikakaa into acting 2014 yote until one time ilikuwa around uh, around July 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 August hapo Uh, there is a friend of mine uh, tulikuwa nasoma na high school but alikuwa mbele yangu anaitwa Wisley. Ah uh, hiyo time ilipata anasomea MKU. Mm. MKU atika. So akani reach out akaniambia hey, ni aje alivo bado unacheza anga rugby. Mm. Ah nika, nika siku muambia ati mimi niliacha rugby nikamwambia eh hey, mimi bado nacheza anga tu. Mm. Akaniambia oh sawa so kuna opportunity hapa MKU wanataka wanataka players wa kama wacheze Uh, ilikuwa Christy Sevens mm-hmm. so wako na timu mbili moja ina kucheza tika moja ina kucheza tika tens ingine inafai kuja kucheza uh, Christy Sevens hawakuwa na numbers hiyo time walikuwa bado walikuwa division 2 mm-hmm. ah nikamwambia ah ni sawa mimi naweza kuja mm-hmm. so mimi nikatoka hapa nikaenda tika mm-hmm. tika tuka nikapata na mam guys okay hatuko na joana na mam guys nikajoana nao Uh, tuka train up for like one week wakani choose kwenda kucheza kwa represent pia hapo so 2014 uh, tukacheza hiyo uh, Christy Sevens Division 2 na MKU so after Christy Sevens uh, ikakuwa ni tukajuana na guys wa guys wenyewe pia walikuwa wamekamkuchezea kumbe walikuwa wanasomea kabete technical kabete technical iko karibu tuna place yenye mimi na stay si mbali sana uh, so ah tukajua na jua na hapo na mam guys MKU wakaniita nikawachezea Mwamba Cup so tulicheza hizo Mwamba Cup tukapata na finals na Impala Academy the same same 2014 before ishe uh, Impala Academy wakatupiga finali so kwa kwa medals zangu na kuangana ya Mwamba Cup ya MKU versus Impala 2014 finals alafu from hapo nika like sikuenda kuchezea club uh, immediately nilirudi nikajuana na mama mgaizo wa kabete tukajuana na juana nao so nikaona like ah it's a good place cuz ni karibu na home naweza train na nao hapo hivyo sa kweli la kutrain train hivi uh, 2015 ilikuwa 2015 march nikapata call nikapata call from my friend kanambia hey alvin ni aje Eh, kuna besti yangu anaitwa Kale. I don't, I don't know if you know Kale Kiprotich. Eh, wakwea. Ah, wakwea. Mm. Akaniambia, aka akani, akani introduce kwa guys, akaniambia kuna besti yangu anaitwa Kale, ame anatafuta winga. Na nimeambiwa we ni winga, we unacheza poa twing. Um, maybe unaweza kama unaweza kubali opportunity unaweza come patane na yeye mchapiane. Mm. So Kale called me Uh, tukapatana na naye huko Union hiyo time alikuwa na wako Union mm-hmm. tukachapiana naye hapo kaniambia oh mi, so mimi natafuta winga na tunataka acheze acheze tunataka train time na sisi alafu acheze Masaku Sevens so Masaku Sevens at 2015 uh, nikakubali kwa kweli yake mm. nilikubali kweli yake tukapatana naye tukachapiana Ah tukasema ni sawa. So mimi nikamwambia nika niko na mgaizo wangu mwenye tuna stay na yeye. Tulikuwa mm-hmm. na stay time na Amo, Amo Sobai. Mm-hmm. Ah nikamwambia niko na mgaizo wangu hapa naweza penda pia na yani uh, kama long pia tucheze huko. Mm-hmm. Akakubali tukaenda na Amo Sobai huko so tulikuwa tunaenda training hapo kwaya. Mhm. Hiyo ilikuwa hiyo ndio saa nikaanza kuchezea kwaya hiyo time. Mm-hmm. Ah nikacheza tuka train hapo for Masaku 7 sasa ku 7 sikafika tuka tuliwin tuliwin hiyo division 2 ilikuwa masaku And, ya kwanza ama ya pili no ilikuwa ilikuwa masaku ya 2015 i think ilikuwa ya pili mhm eh uh, i think kama uh, i think ilikuwa ya pili ilikuwa 2015 mm, yenye samurai walibeba eh uh, yenye samurai walibeba mhm ya 2014 ndio tabadamu walibeba si ndio eh yeah so ya, ya, ya 2015 yenye samurai walibeba hiyo ndio mm-hmm. situlicheza tukabeba division 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I was recognized uh, nika pewa man of the ma- uh, nini MVP ya yeah, Division 2. First tournament as, as in first big tournament, first award ilikuwa so nice, ilikuwa na feel poor sana. Mm. Eh, so hiyo hiyo uh, so say hiyo 2015 ilichezea kwa sevens. Mm-hmm. Uh, circuit yote ya sevens but vile ilifika 2015 kenda kuisha mm. i also got a call from a friend akaniambia eh niaje guy eh manze unaweza come to incorporate kwa team tuna form team ya kucheza kc7 c time so unaweza come tukuweke hapo twende to train alafu tucheze hiyo tournament mm. so be- because at that time haikuni pata ati niko nime contract na any club yenye na wachezea mm. ikamwambia ah poa twende tucheze kaenda kc7 tukacheza hiyo tournament uh, tulipigwa i think tulipigwa semis yeah, tulipigwa semi around semis hapo na homeboys mm-hmm. but nika recognizeiwa pia uh, kama mvp wa hiyo tournament uh, from hapo walter akani aka walter orange akaniambia ah, mgai unaweza come tuna form team hapa na tunajaribu ku bring in wa state to form a team tujaribu tuta watatoa resources zote ma guys wakam wacheze at least to cuz tunapenda kucheza rugby wacha tuicheze so tuka have talks na Walter na akakubali cuz ma pia ma best wangu walikuwa around huko tukaamua like ah ni sawa iko poa ni call poa wacha tujaribu kucheza and that's why that's how nilijipata kisi Uh, so 2015 tukacheza uh, 2016 tukacheza KC nationwide 27 2016 tukacheza championship so we were the f- okay we were the first guys kushinda championship actually kiaru champion championship league yeah nika promote your nika promotion hapo nika eh tulipata vile tuli win championship tukapata promotion to Kenya Cup mm-hmm. Eh, so but before Kenya Cup tulicheza tulicheza nini? Tulicheza Floodies. Mm-hmm. Actually hiyo ilikuwa my first time kucheza Floodies, sijawaicheza Floodies. Mm-hmm. Uh, ilikuwa my first time kucheza Floodies and ilikuwa to me ilikuwa an awesome tournament because uh, team team tulikuwa nayo, tulienda pale tukajipush. Tuka give our all na tulikuwa so surprised that game yetu tuna game yetu ya kwanza 15 tunacheza na KCB tulipokuwa na KCB mm. na first first half to make kama KCB hapo mbaya yeah. you, you can just imagine team team imetoka KC ime come ime, ime, ime chapa champions first half kwanza in a game of 15 mm-hmm. tulikuwa tulikuwa so proud but ma, team tulikuwa nayo ni magazo walikuwa na jipush magazo walikuwa there for each other tuliko to make create a, a certain bond mm. yenye ilikuwa ilikuwa so good manze so tukacheza na KCB game actually wali come up waka wali come back waka tupiga 2014 mm. you can just imagine your margin hiyo <laughs> mm. <laughs> team hapo for, for the first time ina, inacheza big stage mm. na kucheza na champions na mtoke kwa hiyo game na margin kama hiyo So uh, we played Queens uh, the next game from Apo tukaingia Kenya Cup. Uh, so sad Kenya Cup nilicheza game one against Nakuru uh, nikapata injury ya, ya ni. Uh, so vile nilipata injury ya ni nika try okay sikujua ni kama ni mbaya sana. So nilie, nilikuwa hapo for nilitoka nje like nilicheza the first five minutes nikaumia nikatoka nje so the next two games nilikuwa rehab niki try kurudi but uh, unfortunately game ya game ya home boys ilikuwa game 4 game ya home boys ilikuwa game 4 uh, nilicheza but so ikarika injury ya knees and yo ikakuwa like hiyo ilikuwa mara game ya mwisho ya mimi kucheza Kenya Cup hiyo time so sikucheza sikucheza tena game ya Kenya Cup ndio 2018 i went for nikaenda surgery yani uh, but hopefully 
luckily enough nilipo na very fast because i think uh, by the fifth month nilikuwa nimerudi to play so training and everything merudi kucheza and what happened in 7/2018 nimetoka surgery nimepona nimerudi game uh tunacheza prince lu 7 day one day one alvin hapo ana, anaingia 2 minutes za za mwisho hapo za game wasio walikuwa so scared because wanaona ni kama sijapona po hata training wase like walikuwa like hey, ndio ndo kukutako na naona ni kama atakuumiza ni nini hivyo mm. but hiyo uh, game uh, tukacheza prince lu uh, like, uh, luckily enough uh, effort, effort zangu zilipe because uh, kwa hiyo prince lu nilikam nikakuwa mvp most promising player kwa hiyo division 2 ndio tupande kwa division 1 Mm. So tunaweza sema okay strong point yako as in is it uh, you una sign mostly in seven kama 15 you don't do it kwa as uh, your cup of tea <laughs> hey, uh, I, I can say mm. uh, yes me I love the game of sevens mm-hmm. I love the game of sevens mm-hmm. actually uh, mm-hmm. but uh, this few months zenye nimekuwa impala mm. nimeenda pia kupenda 15th because training yenye mna train uh, unajua sia tu kwa unajua kucheza na structures sasa hizi unapata where you are mko na structures and everything so unapata like both games inakuwa so nice but mm. I, i'll prefer 7th it's my cup of tea i think i'll drink Seven. i'll drink in that cup of tea yeah. kisumu na ilipata actually haikunipata nikiwa uh, very okay because 26 season ya 2016 ilikuwa na struggle sana na injury mm-hmm. uh, nilikuwa na dislocated shoulder mm-hmm. so nilikuwa na struggle sana at that time but hiyo uh, game ilikuwa ilikuwa so so precious unajua anytime kisina meet na kisumu mm-hmm. it's a derby yeah. na inakuanga so special because inakuanga It's like it's like uh Queens ipatane na Impala unajua kuna ile pride yenyewe na mm. wanafaitia hiyo mm-hmm. eh, so so kisiki ipatana na na Nakuru inakuanga so good na kuanga special match mm-hmm. na <laughs> na kuanga na kuanga so keen na intercepts i think because mm-hmm. mo- most of the 15th games nimekuwa nikitinga na intercepts mm-hmm. yeah so tunaweza ongelea okay uh, nini hii your transition kabla uende to Impala ili uh, hapenaje uh, ilipata ilipata uh, kidogo kisi tulikuwa tuna struggle ki, ki, kiasi mhm eh cuz unapata yes tulikuwa tuna on matches and everything but tunapata uh, wase walikuwa nataka ku find a better place cuz unajua growth pia is inevitable mm. eh wase day in day out wase wanataka hiyo growth so uh, personally niliona it's uh, it's it's time it's time nijaribu ku ku get something else at least nimecheza championship nimecheza nationwide nimecheza sevens so at least unajua pia kuna hiyo growth yenye each time tuna tunaendelea ku live tunataka hiyo growth mm-hmm. eh, so me kuingia impala mm-hmm. uh, i think pia <laughs> ilikuwa a special moment pia because mm-hmm. uh, ilipata ndio tumetoka kucheza kis 7 sa 2019 na our coach abok nika bok ndio alikuwa actually tukiwa kenya cup nika bok ndio alikuwa coach wa wa kisi
So hiyo hiyo cola up ili ili hapa naje cola 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 up eh nani ndiye alikuwa identify sasa eh ama nika bok okay Ma, niko niko na friends mpala na walikuwa wananiambia like eh hey, alfu manze unafaa ukamu huku unafaa ukamu huku manze tucheze tucheze na wewe huku mm-hmm. so eh hey, billy billy is my my good friend mm. uh, hey, so eh hey, hey, anytime tunapata nani alikuwa anambia like eh hey, alfu bado hujaamua ukuje mm. but uh, i believe every everything when i end on a time mm-hmm. eh yeah, like kuna time yenye something when it happen ikifika hiyo time kama ni time ya, ya staff ku happen when it happen uh, so nilipata call from uh, tulikuwa tunaongea sana na Nicolas Abok ni coach alikuwa coach wa Impala tulikuwa tunaongea naye sana and aliniambia inaweza kuwa very good opportunity mimi kwenda kucheza Impala but in the at the same time Unanipata? Yeah, at the same time. Oh, hey, so at the, at the same time nili, nili get call ya Raba mm-hmm. from homeboys. Okay. Yeah, so so hapo nilikuwa na nilikuwa in between uh Impala and homeboys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh to us tuliongea na Raba, tuka meet up, akanichapia, tukaongea. Tuliongea sana actually hiyo time tuli meet na ye. Mm. akaniambia more about uh, goals zake zenye ako nazo na ambition zake za homeboys and everything. Uh, na pia nilikuwa this other this other side nilikuwa na talks na Impala nilikuwa kuongea ongea na Impala. Mm. But for, for me kucheza Impala ili come up uh, nili, nili, nili feel like hiyo ndio inaweza kuwa like a home. Nili feel like uh naweza penda ku kuva hiyo jezi ya red ya impala naweza penda kuva jezi ya impala because ya resolution insurance to so come up for me time ya nilipata injury mhm cuz I don't come to ensure kisi so uh, wali pay my surgery yote it's a uh, eh, eh, logistically how do I cut for my my injury na nikaona itakuwa itakuwa poor sana because uh, sija chezi ya kisi hiyo hiyo save hiyo 15s na sija chezi ya kisi after my surgery niliona inaweza kuwa inaweza kuwa very nice ku kuchezea kuchezea impala at least ni give back kwa hiyo staff yenye walinifanyia yeah so that, that's why that's how i end up to play for impala what the me let's say your friend na medical itseme you help insurance in impala wako nayo hiyo ndio ilikuwa mostly kitifanya huko impala wako combo uh yeah yeah i think i think yeah uh, friends uh coach uh the resolution insurance pia vile wali come up for me i think yeah hiyo ndio ilikuwa likuwa a big nini for me to play for impala okay na then okay now let's say you are in, in impala umecheza huh? nationwide umecheza hizo club za huko chini difference mm-hmm. umeona ni nini difference ya player anacheza nationwide difference player anacheza eh, Kenya cup ni nini what's the difference between both stages between both stages uh, yeah. i think players wenye wanacheza nationwide ni okay utapata ni young players wenye wana come up wenye wana learn rugby wenye walikuwa wanacheza high school rugby na wame come up wanataka ku, ku play game so utapata difference ni mentality utapata ni hiyo experience exposure pia una get mm-hmm. cuz msemo wenye wanacheza nationwide na msemo wenye wanacheza Kenya Cup maybe ama championship utapata eh, kuna hiyo exposure wame get waki wakiendelea ku, kucheza kuna hiyo training wanaelea ku get pia alafu pia it's a learning process because ukiwa national utapata yes you know the game but auja learn hiyo game vizuri kama msemo wako Kenya Cup mm. at some point mimi najipatanga najipatanga nimehang kiasi 
Najipata mm -hmm. gani siku zitapata Kenya Cup watu wanacheza na structure. Wame put in a structure there guidelines zenye wana follow as in tunacheza na this certain structure you follow everything in iko kwa hiyo structure. Until until Chesco was saying otherwise but you need to follow each and every structure to the latter. But tutapata most of, most of the national teams sama ama uh, championship teams zingine utapata awaches maybe awaches in a structure so uh, so i think you and you and you like uh, a major difference between iso stages zote mm. alafu tuseme maybe coaching pia niki so and get okay in terms of uh, let's say you being a player ni nini ume 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 gain now let's say stepping to the next level at Kenya Cup is there mm -hmm. is there a difference between you as a player skill wise confidence wise uh, mental wise ni nini nini ume change kwa uh, for for mini perspective ya game mm. uh cause unapata na learn na learn more na learn more size Nala na learn vitu zingine mob sana sasa hizi kuna hiyo courage ya ku get in the game alafu na try pia ku sasa hizi niko nacheza na like uh, Kenya Kenya rugby player uh, Kenya Kenya players Kenya 15 players Kenya Kenya 7 players so napata pia mimi lazima ni nacheza according to pali sasa hizi wase league yenye wase wanacheza So yes I'm still I'm still learning I'm still growing but no but um uh tasemaje mm skill wise eh, una develop daily cause una pata kuna sessions za skills too utapata hapo ball una kick tu una chase una receive au una receive to ball so unapata skill wise na unaendelea ku grow mm kwa level lenye unaendelea kucheza mm -hmm. courage pia inakaa because uh, sometimes pia mnapata mko na sessions za me, eh, za ku uh, sometimes unapata uh, club on incorporate sessions zenye nyinyi wenyewe mko na like mentors on mna mna get your mental strength wanajaribu kuongea na nyinyi about some things pia mm -hmm. uh, Okay and uh, umongele about uh, mentor you as a player so far uh, mentors mentors wako ni nani ni nani una look up to uh in Kenya me look up to Kolo me look up to Kolo Sinjera in Kenya mhm mm uh yeye yeye un inspire sana actually cause me ndio ni nikiingia kwa rugby hizo ndio names zenye tulikuwa tunazijua like mm -hmm. ulikuwa unasikia tu kila mtu anasema Colin Sinjera. So mm -hmm. nilikuwa nataka sana kuona vile umstia anacheza, nilikuwa nataka sana kuona vile uh, vile yeye yuko, unaona? Mm -hmm. So actually mimi nimekuwa nikimfollow sana, nimekuwa nikifollow Colo for a very long time. Since mm -hmm. nianze kujua like after nimetoka nime high school, nimekuja kwanza kucheza uh, club rugby nilikuwa na cheki clips zake sa mostly hadi kuna time nilikuwa na tra, nilikuwa najifunza kucheza kama yeye mhm ungenipata na ball kwa mkono both hands na try ku step kama kolo na try kucheza vile yeye anacheza mhm eh ba, alafu kama globally me look up to Cheslin Colby me mm -hmm. look up to uh, Nehemil Naskada mm -hmm. and lastly lastly ni Jerry Jerry Twai ni 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 Season ya 7 ilikuwa ilikuwa poa. Mm -hmm. Actually I was one of the players mwenye nilicheza like uh, circuit zote mm -hmm. except uh, Prince Luke because nilikuwa na some 
some eh, nilikuwa nimeshika kidogo so i didn't make to play prince flu but nimecheza hizo circuits zote zingine five mm-hmm. circuits uh mm-hmm. ilikuwa so special to me because uh, ilikuwa my first opportunity kucheza na a very big club in kenya mm-hmm. and uh actually <laughs> kuna nilikuwa na i think naweza sema ni i wasn't confident enough to play at impala na hiyo stage yenye wako so nilikuwa na ingia hapo kama underdog so utapata sometimes kuna uh, those two minutes zenye unapatiwa uja give it your all mm. ina so eh hey, ilikuwa 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 tough for, for me ilikuwa tough kiasi but pia nili nili nilikama haraka sana ndio nikaingia kwa game mm. uh, for, for, okay for me ilikuwa ilikuwa poor but pia i think confidence yangu haikuwa at at maximum cause mm. nilikuwa ndio nataka ku incorporate na players tujuane poor pia ku build your bond flani as as players but the good thing ni coach alikuwa alikuwa na believes in me alinipatia opportunity ya ku go hapo hivyo nje ku ku play me ku do me utaparadi sometime some point alikuwa ananiambia Alvin ah me i believe in you na kama unaona wewe haujiamini have that small believe in yamini konayo in you uamini mm. ujiamini mm. but uh, I, i thank god uh, nili 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 nini haraka sana nilishika nili mita haraka sana mm-hmm. na tunaenda kucheza saki 2 3 i think nilikuwa nimepoa so seven yangu at- Okay na uh, okay uh, going forward we will speak also about uh, confidence as a player uh, is it uh, let's say nini uh, wewe as a player uh, how do you how do you build on your on your own confidence especially uh, kwa game na pia mentally yeah uh me i listen I, li- i listen to music a lot before games mm-hmm. uh i do med- i do meditations uh i do watch video clips za wase wenye uona ni mental like to para nimeingia nime download clips za kenya wakicheza na cheki vile kolo anacheza ta nini za super rugby nione vile chesley na anacheza vile chesley amekuwa akicheza pia stevens so to para na watch games za sevens a lot na nasikiza music a lot na pray a lot alafu na na meditate a lot to build mm-hmm. confidence before matches actually mm-hmm. so unapata hata before any game utapata mimi nimeja isolate nimekaa chini maybe nime, nime chill tu na na pray na meditate kiasi that's how, that's how i build my confidence before matches na going 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 forward uko na ambitions gani as a as a sportsman nini bado unataka kwa team kwa kwa e-sport uh, I, i think as a as a Kenya Kenya rugby player uh mse ufi mse ufi poa sana ki represent country yake na ki akika akiona effort zake zote zimekuwa rewarded ku play for national team Uh, I think itakuwa itakuwa a very big deal to me. Na not not only uh, Kenya ku play kwa either Kenya 7 ama Kenya 15s but pia going pro in is a very good thing. Yenye me always wanna pray for ku 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 represent Kenya even beyond beyond uh, Kenya Cup na Uh, maybe matches a uh, international matches peke yake kucheza mm. pro ni za kuwa very a very good thing for me mm. and uh, even yeah. speaking about uh, playing for Kenya 7 tulicheza at least 
na ilikuwa Red Wellers. Na yeah, Red Wellers. Nikwambia hiyo experience at uh, Safari 7 ilikuwa je kwenye. <laughs> okay, me playing for me playing Safari 7s ilikuwa mm. one of the one of the best opportunities nime nime get kucheza rugby. Mm-hmm. Uh I really liked uh, kucheza Safari 7s. Mm. But neither sema for me uh, yes it was a big, very big opportunity but for me I I think I didn't give my all. Mm. I think I didn't give my all playing for Wailers. Why Boruna uh, me? Uh, okay I nili nili it's it's rare it's okay this time this time yote nimekuwa nikicheza sevens it's rare kucheza tournament na ukose kuisha without making even a try because mm. I'm a winger uh, I'm a finisher like mm. each and every game mnacheza mkiwa na winger like me mnajua like a uh, game lazima marubi atatinga cause each and every time hata hata my first tournament kucheza sevens i scored mm. each and every game nimekuwa nikicheza mostly nimekuwa ni, kama ni uh unapata um, tournament unapata yeah umescore umescore a lot you get mm. so for me it was a very big opportunity but uh i think i didn't give my all because nilicheza safari sevens si kutoka na try i think hapo nilijilet down nilijilet down mm-hmm. yeah na nini okay for you nini nini inahitajika uende to the next level nini ita, what do you need ili uwe jazi sasa Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I think as vile experience nilipata kwa Safari 7s mm-hmm. alafu experience nimepata kwa Kenya Cup time. Mm-hmm. I think I think it's time. I think I'm ready now. Mm-hmm. I'm ready now to tackle any challenges is na kama hapo mbele ikuwe ni any duty ya uh, national ama ikuwe ya uh, 7s kwa 15s any duty nyingine zapatiwa. Mm-hmm. Ama any any wakichekini kwa good enough ku don hiyo jezi i mm. think i'll give it my all na people see my fans hapo nje wataona everyone around wata wata realize kuna something kuna someone somewhere ana do something that sisi tunaitaka za kama ni national team tunataka like we need a player like this to kufanya hii stuff it shall e e challenge kwa hapa ni i think anaweza anaweza come through hapo mm. i think i think it's time i think niko niko ready now niko ready for seven or 15 gani ndo unataka gani unataka gani mimi nikipata seven i think itakuwa itakuwa one of my best dreams come true yeah yeah So seven has always been a dream for you because uh, seven uh, seven has always been a thing for me. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Na okay, so what are speaking of dreams? Tunaweza tuambia dream ingine yenye uko nayo. Unataka in terms of achieving. Unataka kufanya nini kama pia? Eh me personally okay kwa rugby, rugby wise personally me i'm a, I'm a winger i'm a finisher mimi mimi the, some some people call me scoring machine because mm-hmm. wanaona nikicheza so me i uh, i just uh, make those steps ticking mm-hmm. the right boxes uh, continue playing ticking the right boxes maybe ku mo, mostly ni kucheza kwa kucheza sevens takuwa like a best dream for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, going pro itakuwa like a very big thing for me. Mm-hmm. Takuwa dream come true. Ku ku build ku kusaidia wasepi ya kusaidia upcoming players ku kula learn game na maybe kuata mental to some ni zako a very good thing for me because unajua sisi tuna tutacheza kuna wenye wanacheza watatoka sisi tutacheza tukio maybe tutacheza kuna wenye wata look up to us pia tunaweza penda sasa ku grow your game kwao na get mm-hmm. ah inaweza kuwa very inaweza kuwa very a very good thing for like a dream come true pia tukiacha tukijua tunaacha people wenye wanaweza represent more than us pia okay 
na umeongea huko life beyond the pitch unaweza kuambia as a player sasa hii corona imekam ma player ma player mko kwa pitch uh, as, as, as alvin una unafanya nini sasa hii uko na hasili yako uko mtaani ni nini unadua sana <laughs> hey, corona corona ilikaa mazee ka to surprise ma mm. Corona corona ilikuja ikatu ika surprise mba. so unapata kama hiyo time ilipata okay covid ikikam uh, uh, siku anafanya anything else nilikuwa na okay nilikuwa na learn more but siku anafanya anything productive yenye inaweza nipatia cash or something mm-hmm. or something uh, mm-hmm. so unapata vile ilikam mimi nilikuwa na okay I, will, I, i do i do learn french mm-hmm. I I do learn pia ku vid, ku create videos and everything. Film ku film make na ku do videos hapo but sasa natumia tu simu na check hizo ni zile za ku learn learn natumia simu na create something inakuwa poa like hizo videos zangu zote za YouTube nimekuwa ni create from footages zenye napata from recorded sources zile zimekuwa recorded. So hizo ndio ilipata mimi nikifanya vitu kama hizo but eh, ili to hit so hard ikabidi someone inabidi u think outside the box utafanya nini ku get some cash yenye taku keep going so eh, i came, i came up i came up okay actually it time ilipata vile covid ili to hit unajua atakuwa na vitu za kudu mostly but uh, impala came through for us guys uh, na ile kwa ile kama na initiative poa sana ya ku ku give uh, their players something yenye itawa kuina wa push it time mm-hmm. so naweza sema it time ya covid impala walikam walikam through for us guys mm-hmm. eh, because walikuwa uh, tulikuwa tuna meet uh, tulikuwa na tuna meet uh, like uh, once a month every every last fr- every last saturday of the month mm-hmm. uh, wana wana give something wana give something to guys and it our push for like a period of time hapo una get mm-hmm. alafu personally personally me nime hustling hustle, hustle wise nili nili make application and ika get chance ya ku work na yokora sports mm-hmm. mm, so nimekuwa niki nimekuwa niki work now uh, for for the last uh, one month before uh, before then ili come up na my online store inajita Volatech mm-hmm. Volatech ina ina deal na ku na uza, na uza headphones mm-hmm. wireless earphones na earbuds na kuna bluetooth speakers for now hizo ndio nime na na uza but na uza online yo yo pia alafu pia hiyo page yako iko facebook ama iko nini uko na website for now for now for now, for now iko iko instagram okay yeah for now, for now ni ni online store ya instagram bado sijaichukulia website na bado sijaifungulia account ya facebook mm. so iko iko instagram yeah, at, at volatech mhm at volatech v o l a alafu tech mhm zimeshikana tu hivyo iko na flag ya Kenya hapo mwisho mhm yeah so unaweza unaweza rudia wasoje ni nini watu wanaweza buy kutoka kwako oh kwa hiyo online store yangu for, for now nauza headphones nauza earpods nauza um, bluetooth speakers mhm Yeah for now for now hizo ndio nauza. Mm. God willing with time to ta, ta incorporate many other things. Mm. Uh, because uh, uh, I'm giving myself like uh, kitu kama the next one year nitakuwa mm. nitakuwa na Vola Enterprise. Mm. Na Vola, Vola, Vola Enterprise itakuwa na incorporate Uh, my my new my new business yenye nataka ku launch next week mm-hmm. inajita the vola the errand runner mm-hmm. the errand runner yeah so i run errands for people because mm-hmm. uh, una 
unapata there are so many people wako wako so lazy kufanya some uh, these small small stuffs like kupeleka gari kwa service kuenda shopping kufanya ma pick offs na drop offs mm-hmm. yeah hizo hizo so hiyo ndio nataka ku incorporate hapo mm-hmm. eh, naendelea ku naendelea ku facilitate na ku get the business cards na kufungua pia kitu najaribu saizi kutafuta ni hiyo nini um, hizo ma logistics za ku not logistics but uh, papers ku register ku register as a business mhm una una get yeah ku register as business so hiyo mm-hmm. hizo ndio nime vitu zenye na najaribu ku ku do zenye zinaweza nipatia something at least at the end of the day na narudi kwa nyumba na something okay na hiyo nini hiyo partnership yako na hiyo chorus unaweza tuambia in come about aje so okay quint quint all to me all to me link kwa group ya impala and uh nili nili follow nikaangalia nikacheki stuff wenye na do na all through me nimekuwa nikijaribu ku build brand yangu za rugby player na as a rugby player apa na maybe ku ku chase some endorsements cuz cuz um I'm, I, I want to be more of an uh, kama brand ambassador. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so nimekuwa nikijaribu ku build brand yangu kwa mm-hmm. social media pia. Mm-hmm. So but hiyo partnership ile kama after mimi nili, nili apply to be walikuwa na walikuwa na application ya sales agents. Mm-hmm. So nika, nika apply and uh, after after like a week even nikapata call from I think their managing director mm. aka akaniambia ya ni 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 kopoa ni ko qualified naweza kama hiyo job ni naweza kama kwa store yao uh, mm. uko to rivers ni chapiane nao ni sign hizo tuongeonge before ni alafu ni check hiyo contract yenyewe na offer mm. yeah so nikaenda huko tukachapiana nao tuka get to an agreement na nikaona yeah, it's good to work, it's good to work now because pia ni wa products zao zote ni most most of their product is a sports mm. so hiyo ilifanya ika ilifanya nikakubali haraka sana ku work now mm. yeah na unaweza okay as, speaking as a sportsman especially right now when wasi wengi wa sports as in guys okay our they are not involved in sports then let's say kuna wale wa say let's say sports in kwa tegemeo let us we are said here about your transitioning and pia kuna au semen mavijana pia let's say kwa dandaza uni but ni nini mse anaweza fanya with himself ili kuji apate ile cash yake tu at least when you may say we only au kwa pia unafanya kitu lakini ukajiazisha hapo ah eh unaweza ongea pia about hiyo initiative ya ama hiyo self driver ama clone when you may inspire watu pia ah okay so me ku okay me me i do talk with people na penanga kujua wasewa na unaje life wasewa na wamejipangaje pia una get Mm. So me personally me ujaribu ku encourage you say nawaambia eh, you as a rugby player we ni brand already mm. you just playing just playing rugby we ni brand mm. na vile utatumia brand yako ndio itamata because utapata si kila mse book itakubali na utapata yes book itakubali but utapata maybe resources as a as in favor ye kuendelea na education or something ama ku, ku get this, this this good things in your life in a bring kwa wase wenye wanasoma wamesoma or anything ndio mm-hmm. so me me try kuambia wase you playing rugby you ni brand already tumia hiyo brand yako poa if unaweza try ku if unaweza try ku tengeleza hiyo brand kama ni kwa social media ujaribu ku chase endorsements inaweza kuwa better enough if unaweza get something yenye wewe mwenyewe ukijijua na unajua unaweza get something for yourself apart from kwa to employed or something 
inaweza kuwa very good start because me wanna believe anything in you put time in it anything in you put effort in it lazima the end itakuwa na reward so kwa kwa kila msemo mwenye anacheza rugby hapo nje na hii time imemhitaji na maybe bado hajafikiria chenye anaweza do it's time akae chini ajiteka uh, meeting na yeye mwenyewe ajiteka meeting aone yeye ako good at nini alafu hiyo kitu yako good at aeke hapo hivyo nje i try ku kuchete something yenye tampatia something at the end of the day ya ku maybe ya ku ya kuweka kwa mdomo yeah and, uh, also to speak also vede lastly kusikia vede watu wanaweza pata kujeka vitu kwa mdomo watu wakitaka ku contact sasa let's say for hizo services you mentioned services tatu uko na yako na sport hiyo nini una unaweza volatech volatech na kuna hivi ya ya errand pia naweza errand plan ya ya vede watu wanaweza ku contact pia so eran eran rana eran rana bado sijaiweka hapo nje but yeah. nataka by next week nipate nipate sana nimeifungulia maybe social media platforms nimetengeleza size nenda kutengeleza hizo business cards mm-hmm. kuzipea so ndakuwa na distribute business cards uh, kwa ma guys hapo nje so kwa volatech hapo utanipata in ig iko iko tu vola imeandikwa tu at volatech alafu iko na flag ya Kenya hapo hivyo alafu social media account zangu zingine ni marube254 alvin marube kwa facebook e marube kwa kwa twitter youtube ni marube alvin marube ya yeah. niza niza pia hiyo hiyo channel yako kabla atende nini unaweza pia tuambie pia in terms of uh, nini if if uko na unaweza share personal number yako or uh, in case you want to reach directly eh kwa kwa post zangu zote za kwa IG hizo za hiyo Volatech mhm nime 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 my personal number hapo yenye msia anaweza ni anaweza ni contact hata kwa kwa hiyo kora sport pia nimeka email address yangu hapo na nimeka personal number yenye msia anaweza reach out maybe kama ni ku make orders uh maybe za my business app hizo za earphones headphones ama kama ni ku make order za sportwears na maybe sports gears hapo kwa Yokora Sports ni make my personal number yenye wasio naweza ni reach out nayo umeza mm. umeza isema in case mtu yuko anasikia na angetaka ku reach out kwa hiyo Uh, email yangu ni alvin mar alvin marube mm-hmm. 96 at gmail.com hiyo okay. alvin iko ni a l v y n marube 96 at gmail.com mm-hmm. alafu my personal number ni 0707 275 960 so if msia anataka ku make orders anaweza ni reach out na hiyo namba Okay. And uh tukienda kumalizia what does the, the future in a whole mean for you? Nini nini unataka Alvin achieve in, into the future? Post corona, kwa business na pia kwa sport. <laughs> Alvin in the, in the in the in the coming future Alvin atakuwa na na business enterprise. Mhm. Eh, business enterprise itakuwa na involve business ya ku errand run itakuwa na hiyo Volatech na itakuwa tu an online store but itakuwa itakuwa pia na physical location yenye wasio takuwa na kama kwa store ku check staffs hizo za pia pia uh, accessories for accessories and everything mm-hmm. itakuwa na itakuwa na itakuwa na branding branding business ya ku customize t-shirts and everything mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm so passionate na na hiyo na hizo stuff pia mm-hmm. na za za graphic design pia and printing hizo zote mm-hmm. eh hiyo ni hiyo ni business wise alafu rugby wise <laughs> kuna msemo mwenye na kama mm-hmm. kuna someone kuna someone anakaa hapo for you guys 
anakamku anakamkupatia na effort yake yote anakamkupatia na each and everything yenye anaweza patiana hapo nje na nyinyi wenyewe mtajionea because uh, every effort yenye mstena patenanga na hard work ajai go and rewarded na mimi ule mse mwenye nikipata any slight opportunity me i grab it na nakimbia nayo mbaya sana vile tu nimekuwa nikikimbia nikimake try hizo opportunities na kimbia nazo hivyo Mm. So manze I'm I'm training nafanya everything na keep, na, na, na keep fit na put training yangu hapo naendelea ku gain weight naendelea ku gain mass <laughs> so na come up wenje manze ku, ku play my ku give my my best yenye naweza patia okay. and uh, last words of uh, wisdom wale watu wana come up tena sana sana especially wale watu wa foundation because wao mimi kitomeshe mwa iko Kenya so wao asipia wenye wanataka pia kusama uh, words of pia wisdom inspiration kwao <laughs> eh ita itakamkoa from Cheslin mm. from Cheslin Colby each mm. opportunity una get ukiokuwa hiyo grao kama ni kukimbilia ball kama ni ku make tackle kama ni ku chesio ball juu kwa hewa ku receive your ball just give it your all training give it your all train we train itak itapay itapay alafu discipline ni very dif, discipline ni key yeah a lot a lot discipline ni key sana hard work discipline confidence uh humility mm-hmm. hard work um discipline mm. yeah okay uh to miss kuru alvin for your time na hope kuona ukiva jazi ya kolo amukuza kandi ya kolo rp ndio wewe tu tume tumebaki kuone kwa TV hapo Impala eh all all the best and tunahopia uh, tuone to get more success in business more success in life more success in sport thank you thank you so much for your opportunity imekuwa so so awesome i, I think ni, ni one of my my first interviews zenye nime have actually so it's so it's a it's a very big opportunity for me to be here and mm. i'm so humble yeah it manisha zingine zinakuja zingine zinakam na zinakam mob sana eh uh, god speed god speed god speed uh, cheers cheers manze thanks thanks sana